Now to a health alert tonight for Anson County Schools will go back to in person learning tomorrow. This after several days of remote learning to allow for deep cleaning and to limit the spread of respiratory viruses. And school districts across the Carolinas are reporting a large number of student absences. The number of flu cases in school age children rising sharply over the last two weeks. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner shows us what parents can do to keep their kids healthy and in the classroom. The Southeast experiencing the highest levels of flu activity in the country. Respiratory viruses running through classrooms in the Carolinas. Some school districts urging parents to look out for symptoms and keep sick kids home. If there's any way possible to keep your child with a fever home, because that is usually a sign that they're more contagious, that's always a good idea. If your child has a bad cough, uh, that's a good reason to keep them home. If they have a slight cough and a slight runny nose, having them wear a mask is not a bad idea. Typically, someone with the flu is contagious in the first three to five days. Doctors say this year's flu shot appears to be effective, but since the season got off to an early start, many people still haven't gotten it. Particularly the unvaccinated patients, they're having very high fevers, sometimes 103, 104, and um, feeling pretty sick the first few days of the illness. Dr. Rhonda Pat with Atrium Health says there's still time to get it, and someone who has already had the flu should still get the shot. Making sure your child knows other common sense ways to stay healthy can also help them in the classroom. Hand washing is the simplest and still the best way to um, reduce the spread of many, many germs. Um, you touch things throughout the day. You don't even think about opening doors opening your desk at school, opening your locker. Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.